Hare Krishna. Hare Ho. What's the difference between Maya and Yoga Maya? The difference between Maya and Yoga Maya. Yoga Maya. Who started? I messed up. Continue. The difference between Yoga Maya and Maya is Yoga Maya controls the whole um, spiritual world, and Maya controls only this material world. Maya is an expansion of Radha. He died. Jai. So, what's the activities of Yoga Maya? Like, what's her purpose? What does Yoga Maya do? Yoga Maya, um, Yoga Maya, um, mind controls everybody inside the spiritual world to not know that Krishna, the eternal expansion of this whole entire world. No, no, no. Wait. Explain that again. Yoga Maya, what? Yoga Maya, mind controls, um, people who are there to not know that Krishna is the Lord, so they can play around with Krishna. Okay. And Maya, mind controls everybody to think that they're the Lord. Okay. So in other words, you're saying that Maya puts people in the material world under illusion? Yeah. And in this material world, what is another name for Maya? Um, Durga. Good. So Durga now, she has 10 weapons. Do you know why she has 10 weapons? Because it's a, it's an, ex, it's because, um, Brahma, Shiva, and Rama. Rama? Rama, Shiva? No, Shiva. Vishnu, Vishnu. And Rama, I mean, and Vishnu, Vishnu, um, combined, and they made Durga, Durga come alive, and to, um, to my control everybody in, this, in the material world. Hmm. Looking at their reward. Well, I'll double check on that information. I'll double check on that part. But I asked you, why does she have 10 weapons? That's the answer I'm looking for. Do you know why? No. Okay, good. When you don't know, that's the key to learning. It's the first step to learning is when say, I don't know. That's how you open up the door to learn. She has these 10 weapons, right? Because Durga has to control the gateway between the spiritual and the material world. There are some people who are very powerful, we call them yogis, right? But they don't have that bhakti, which is the highest form of yoga. So they want to go to the spiritual world under their own power. So once they get to the boundary of the spiritual and the material world, these 10 weapons which guard the 10 directions will cast them back down into the material world where they would have to take rebirth or start the process over again. But through bhakti, we surrender in love and devotion and Krishna reciprocates with us, past, present, and future. Okay, so in other words, this power of bhakti is the only way we're gonna get directly to the spiritual world. But through the power of yoga, you can only get through so far. What are the 10 directions? It's north, east, west, south, then the diagonal directions, and up and down. So these 10, remember, and she rides on top of what? The lion. lion. So she has lion mastery over, huh? Lion or a tiger. The lion or a tiger. Well, there's a difference. Um, there's there's Kal Bhairavi or Kal Bhairo. I have to look them up. But there's a, there's a slight difference. I have to look them up. But basically, the lion represents rulership in the material world. And Dorga is on top of even the lion. She conquers even the lion. Understand? So she's in charge of this material world. And remember, remember when um, Krishna was born, Durga took took um, Krishna's place, and when, um, I forgot his name. Uh, okay, uh, you're talking about the pastime when yeah. Kamsa was killing all of the children of who? Is, is the woman he appeared from, remember, Krishna was never really born, he appeared, yeah. but you had Devaki, is the woman who was giving birth to all of these children. All right? And then at one time, one of the children came out and immediately turned into Durga. And she was like, too late. You're, the person who's going to defeat you is already born. And Kamsa was even more bewildered. And just to close out with that thought, we all serve Krishna in all aspects. But what happens is some serve Krishna favorably and some serve Krishna unfavorably. And remember, he still went to the spiritual world. 
That's right. Anybody who Krishna kills, he was keep on. He had him in the, in his mind so much. Uh huh. That's all he needs to do. That's in right. The spiritual world. Right. But here's the catch. There's different grades of service. Because Kamsa served Krishna unfavorably, he only got but so high in the spiritual world. If you serve Krishna favorably, you go to Goloka Vrindavan, which is the highest realm. So he must have went to like Vaikuntha. Like Most likely Vaikuntha. That's the place of liberation from material distress. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna.